day to you A-level P students, welcome to this tutorial, really introducing you to a concept called OBLA, although I'm relating it to the concept of VO2 max within uh, this tutorial. My name is James, let's make a start straight away. So what I've prepared for you is a graphical illustration. On the vertical we have the notion of blood lactate levels, um, millimolecules of blood lactate per 1000, okay, so millimolecules per 1000. Don't worry too much if that doesn't sit with you comfortably straight away, okay? That's not a massive issue. I'll explain that in a bit more detail in a moment. And the other thing is on the horizontal, we've got exercise intensity. So basically, the harder we work, obviously, the further we move to the right-hand side. So, you know, you can imagine this as being a multi-stage fitness test, as being uh, a race where you gradually get faster and faster and faster. You know, you can picture it however you want, or you can imagine being on the treadmill, constantly going up the levels, up the levels, up the levels, up the levels, making it harder and harder and harder. Whichever way you think about it will be absolutely fine, because the thing is, we want to understand this concept of OBLA. So, first of all, let's define it. It is the onset of blood lactate, of blood lactate accumulation lactate accumulation okay so let's just think about what that means it means that it appears to be some kind of point the onset of blood lactate accumulation in other words when blood lactate builds up well when lactate builds up in the blood and the other thing I would sort of say about this before we map it out graphically is you might want to add in front of the term or in front of the uh, definition the concept of rapid, the rapid onset of blood lactate accumulation. Because basically, whenever we start exercising, we do accumulate some blood lactate. But in the sort of lower intensities of exercise, we can manage that level. There's a specific point we reach that means that we have to, or that inevitably, we start to rapidly accumulate lots of blood lactate. And as a result of that, of course, it causes fatigue, slowing down, or stopping of exercise. And the point that all people reach is what we call four millimolecules per thousand in the blood. So I'm just going to draw this line across the graph here to illustrate, and I don't know how level I've got it, but um, we've got this 